I die before I give him up to Rome. Then death it is. Uh. My congregation gon' operate like a corporation. I want my flowers and flower vases. I want carnations. I want begonias. I want petunias and flower blooms. Run! Cause I'm a god, so when you see me, say hallelujah. Plants. In spite of your selfish ways, there's a beautiful soul in there somewhere. Hallelujah. I'm a god, so when you see me, say hallelujah. Jesus of Nazareth. I'm a God, so when you see me, say hallelujah. That was an incredible clip from the Book of Clarence, and I'm so proud to be joined by one of the stars, Babs Alusumokan. So happy to see you. What was it like to be in this movie? Well, thank you for having me, first of all. Um, of it was course. fantastic. It was a fantastic experience, you know, working with James, Samuel, uh, and the fantastic cast that he assembled. It was beautiful. And let's talk about what the movie is about. Hmm. The movie is a biblical epic, okay? It's um, a film inspired by films like Ten Commandments, The Greatest Story Ever Told, Life of Brian. And James Samuel brings the modern day. He brings the life of the hustler in the hood. Yeah. He brings it to the biblical epic. Absolutely. And Absolutely. with really cool fellow actors, what was that set like? It was, it was quite something. First of all, the Matera, where we shot, was so beautiful. It's one of the longest consistently inhabited places in history. Wow. So for at least 10,000 years, people have always lived in Matera. And it's just pure, untouched, it feels like. And to be shooting there felt like stepping through time always, every day. And, you know, working with the actors, with Lakeith, with Omar C, you know, having dinners with some of the others, David Oilowo, Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, Anna Diop, uh, the leading lady. We had a fantastic time. It was such a beautiful experience. You're working with incredible people. Jay-Z is a producer on this movie. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. He's, you know, quite tight with James Samuel who is an incredible musician and music producer in his own right. And, you know, shooting this, we'd finish shooting 1 a.m., you know, uh, James is still there <laughs> creating music for what we just shot that wow. day. That's how passionate he was. That's how deep into it he was. And he's such a vibrant, creative force, you know, and on set, there's music playing, there's life, you know, there's so much life in James and he really spreads that energy. Uh, but it was also beautiful, well, my experience with him was also beautiful because he always found the quiet moments to give notes, you know? Yeah. He's, you know? He was, he, a, he was inspiring, he right? He was inspiring and private yeah. with, you know, with so, talk speaking to the actors. And so you had that intimacy and that we trust. We had that intimacy, absolutely, absolutely. Because that, it is one thing to be and it's another thing to connect mm -hmm. with the people that yeah. you're trying to build and create something with. And that was, I found that very special, uh, working with James. Oh, well, it's been so special having you here. Thank you. I'm so yeah. proud of this moment for you. It's Thank you. clear you're finding your life's purpose Thank and you're you. right in the middle of it. And Thank you. here's to more and more success. Thank you so, so much <laughs> for having me. Go see the book of Clarence. You're gonna love it. Thank you so much. Already Thank do. You. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, dead one, open your eyes. Nigel. What are you trying to prove? And I'm not a nobody. You find fate, and you will find all the access. When you see me, say hallelujah. Who are you? My name is Rebecca Summers. <laughs> I found your door. That is a really juicy clip from the latest thriller, Night Swim. And I'm so excited to have Gavin Warren here joining us. And I'm so nervous watching this scene because it reminds me of it. It reminds me of drowning. What was it like being in this film? 
It was super awesome. I like seeing the behind the uh, behind the scenes. It's super cool to see how it actually works before you see the movie. <laughs> and so watching the clip, was it totally different than the experience you had? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was totally different. I didn't expect a lot of the things that I saw. <laughs> was it scarier when you saw it on screen than for it was? For sure, for <laughs> sure. I definitely, definitely go watch it if you haven't. It, it, there's a lot of jumps, and I'm not a, I don't get scared like super easily, and mm -hmm. I actually got scared like a lot in that <laughs> movie. Well, whenever there's water involved, it's pretty intense because you're wet all the time. It can be cold. What was the experience like for you? Yeah, so they actually had the pool like super heated, so it was really nice oh, to nice. be to be in the pool. Um, outside of the pool it was a little cold, but they took really good care of me. Like they would have heat uh, heat warmers or yeah. Like, oh, good. Yeah. So you're making it sound like a spa experience. It was really nice, <laughs> and then even on the side, like, because it was a little cold outside, so even on the side they would have like little uh, little. Uh, hot tubs or like jacuzzis or something like that. It was super nice. Oh, yeah. Sounds yeah. like vacation. And when you watch this movie, you said you don't get that scared normally. Mm -mm. What kind of level scare would you compare it to? Like, is it as scary as Stranger Things? Uh, no, I would say it's I would say it's a lot more scary. I would <laughs> say it's like almost at the, uh, around the it level. Yeah, it's it's definitely around there. Um, so it's it's really scary. It's really up there. And you worked with some pretty great actors too. Can yeah, we talk sure. about some of your co-stars? Yeah. So I worked with Carrie Condon, Wyatt Russell, um, and Amelie, and I don't remember her last name, <laughs> but yeah, it was super cool and everyone was super nice. And did you learn any tips on the set? Okay. So <laughs> water-wise, we she they kind of taught me how to hold my breath for a lot longer and like. How to, you know, if you go deeper in the water, your ears kind of, kind of pop. Yeah, that pressure. Uh, yeah, the pressure gets your ears like ringing and stuff. It, it kind of hurts, but they teach you how to like hold your breath by like outside of the water, they give you a break before you do the scene. Like maybe a minute before, they give you a minute to like breathe and like breathe slowly. And you try, you want to try and like calm your body down before you go in the water. Okay, good so, to know. Yeah. That seems like one of the most wonderful roles you've played, but you have quite a few starring roles right now. Yeah. What is it like being an actor in Hollywood? It's awesome. Um, I like having the experience and meeting all these cool people and like all these cool uh, famous actors. It's really awesome to see them like in person in, instead of like seeing them on screen. It's awesome to see them in person. Well, thank you so much for coming by. Thank it was you. so great meeting you. Thank you. And I'm so, so nice meeting you. Yeah, I always love a movie that scares me as much <laughs> yeah, as Stephen yeah, King. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> there has to be some way to stop this. Marco. Good thing it is winter because I'm not going to go in a pool for a very long time. Don't go away. Jodie Foster's new show and Fargo is preparing for the season five finale. And we have Agent Myers in the house, Jessica Poli here in studio.